Hello everyone, Alexei Croft here, I'm bringing you today another video on Second Life and as you can see from the thumbnail of this video, this is about how to improve your uh, FPS so your game runs smoothly, right? So, there are two major things you need to do for this to work. First of all is you're gonna open your preferences tab, which you can go to, uh, it's avatar preferences for firestorm uh, uh i don't know i forgot what the default viewer has here but yeah you can go that and preferences or you can press ctrl and p as you can see here i think this works for the default viewer as well as well as sec as well as firestorm right so um these are the settings that you need to have right um for for a game to look decent and have some decent fps right as you can see i'm running at 63 fps uh but i have a re pretty beefy computer and this place that i'm in is pretty heavy which is club 511 uh pretty popular spot a lot of people are here right if you are on a firestorm and normally Firestorm does not allow you to go past 3,000, right? So, if you put 10,000 here, it's going to jump down to 3,000, right? So, the way we increase this, in case you have higher internet, like I do, um, we type here in uh, KBPS, and this one's going to show up, right? Which is this. And if you set this to 10,000 which is where the default second life viewer permits you to go to um and it's not really recommended to go past this because this is like a one gigabyte um connection and it should be more than enough right basically this is going to use up all your internet to get the job done faster uh when I say use up all your internet, all your available internet, right? So if you open another application or something, that's still going to work normally. Not going to impact that in any way, shape, or form. All right, uh, back to graphics. So these are the settings that you want, right? And now, depending on if you care to... If you look here, I have a giant uh, gray uh triangle which is the draw distance which allows me to render stuff in that far away of a place right as, as you can see my fears is gonna go down because of it right so i can see the neighbors and so on right <clears throat> which you're not really gonna need if you're hanging out with your friends and you're not really caring about seeing six sims apart right so we would go to nearby chat and type dd and then 25. you can play with the range for your own uh, to see what works best for you i personally like to go between 25 and 50 uh, mainly because i found that those are the draw distances that work for me uh, you can go even lower if you want if your computer is like really slow that day or something or you don't have such a high performance computer uh, you can go drop it down to as low as you want right basically let's see let's drop it down to 10 as you can see at 10 we're starting to lose people over where we can see right so if we go to 15 we can see those people right and if we camera around you can see that everyone is like popping in and there's a limited amount of what you can see, right? So we're just going to put it back to 25. <clears throat> right. This is from what you're uh, seeing with the camera, not from your character's perspective, from your camera perspective. Right. So the more you scroll around and such, the more you're going to see, right? As you can see, I can't see the skybox that was there. Um, so basically that's not getting drawn so we don't have an issue there right so those were my two tips i'm not gonna prolong this 
for any longer uh if you're interested about how this works and what this mechanic is uh, you can look up uh draw distance calling on youtube and i'm pretty sure you can find plenty of videos that explain to you how this works and why this is done in gaming and in other things as well but yeah i hope this helps you guys and if anyone has any other tips on how to improve fps in second life um drop them down in the comment section and let's help each other out and so people find this video and have an idea of how to make their game work better depending on their hardware because not everyone can afford super fancy expensive rich hardware and everyone should have a fun experience right this is alex acroft signing off